right, welcome back. Soldiers storm Ogun villages as S-men and farmer clashes again. All right, the nails in detail. For the second time, soldiers from 35 Artillery Brigade Alamala Abel Kuta Ogun State have visited some villages in Yewa North local government area of Ogun State where they had earlier brutalized residents at the instance of some headsmen. In a report exclusively published by the Nation Penal Teammates Saturday, the soldiers had reportedly escorted some headsmen to some of the villages on December 19, 2020 and flogged many of the residents for refusing to allow the S-men to graze their cattle on their farmlands. About 29 villages in the area had been attacked in recent times by terror S-men who were said to have camped at Egwa, a neighboring town from where they led their cattle to destroy farmlands within the Ketuyewa communities which share borders with the Republic of Benin. All right, the affected villages include Ateru, Moro, Ologun, Agbon, Igbota, Igumba, Ayetoro, Okeodo, Ibore, Bokoto, Iselu, Ijale, Ohumbe, Igbeme, Ijon, Owodeketu, Igan. Alade Lashilo Ojaoda Moro Ologun Iyano Meta Igboro Egbeda and Kuse. The story has not been refuted by the Nigerian Army or the federal authorities many days after it was published. Worried by the development, some traditional rulers in the area had written a petition against the soldiers the state government and the police in the state i think this is this is this has gotten out of hand because the situation whereby nigerian soldiers will be working hand in hand to fight you no know, innocent farmers this is unfair i think this needs to stop all this must stop henceforth because i don't understand what is happening here what is going on in this country because i don't i, I don't understand why this will be happening. Well, that is why I will tell you that the Eastern Security Network, Nigeria needs that kind of, in fact, that kind of security network in this country. Because as we speak right now, the Eastern Security Network, they are not like the uh, indigenous people of Biafra fighters. These people are you no know, fortified men. In fact, at the, main, at the main mention of their names, all soldiers you know, run. They always take to their heels. And that is what is happening right now. And that is what we need in this Yoruba Aziz. Because now, I don't understand. The soldiers have not deemed it fit. They've seen it that. What is it only Sunday go? Uh, what can they do? I beg, we are going back to torture these people. Is, are we supposed to continue like this? Well, this is so unfair. All right, and then meanwhile, there's been a lot of reactions onto this. And um, according to Rotimi or Shibajo, he has said, that, well, it seems as if most of these soldiers have stooped so low for the Fulanis to disrespect and flaunt the others by spoiling the future of others. Mostly the farmers. Let the garrison commander at Alamala come out and tell the whole world, the Nigerian, the Nigerians, that he is Fulani's commander. You can only be a witness of a war and not the hand. Hmm. And that is it. All right. And the guest has said that well, the defense of S men against owners of the land will soon fade away. Let them enjoy this era. All right, and then Stephen Otoide has said that every four, every four fish in the river, but one day with fisher net. Okay, every day for the fish, one day for the fisher net. Okay, and then Frank Spat has said that go fight Boko Haram, kill a day. That's why if on a die, I know they worry. All right, hmm. Army can follow Fulanis to anywhere, but that doesn't stop Yorubas to take back. 
what belonged to Yoruba from these killer killers kidnappers. All right, and then says, Hallelujah, as Baba has spoken, so it shall be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The time of all these fullness will soon be over. The police have taken the law into their hands. These soldiers and the S men, sometimes I wonder who the soldiers are protected, whether in Nigeria or Fulani, I don't know. This country, wow. Oh, I think the solution to this problem, people should stop eating cow. Hmm, that's another one. Well, somebody has said it that, in fact, since this fight, since all this, you no know, stress and all that, since all this started, he has stopped eating beef. All right, and then that is another one. Because now, I would not lie to you, there are so many things going on the ground. And uh, according to what I've been gathered here so far, that they should enjoy this era that very soon nobody will tell them. And a lot of things are going on on the ground. So I believe the Oduduas, they are walking towards this. They don't need to they don't need to do their physical fight anymore. Don't mean I no worry. The thing they go on, don't let me, I know a lot of people have you know some people have been hearing about what is going on on the ground. Don't worry, these people they will soon understand. Yes, they will soon understand. Though. Okay, and then um, federal government is not seen or heard hearing about this now. Why am I going about with Fulani? Okay, hmm. Well, police cannot be arrested because they have been reconstituted to obey only federal authority. That's why Fayoshi used hunters during his regime in AKT. Thank God for Amotekun as well as Sunday. Igboho. Okay, you know they fight Boko Haram. My legal citizens, this one, they attack. Okay, those who trust in the Lord will never put, will never be put to shame. I don't doubt. Papa Deboye, Nigeria is God heritage. There is nothing anybody can do about it. Okay, Papa Deboye knows that this country will soon divide. Will soon be divided. That's why the only solution is you no know, to pray against terrorists all right mm -hmm. are you serious okay can the pastor tell us how terrorism will end soon okay all right and the tribalism will not allow terrorism to end it is beyond organized crime it is routed in region and mainly ethnical ethnicity mainly for land accusation all right, I, I have a lot of questions, uh, a lot of comments coming in from here, but I think time will not permit me to you know, keep reading that. Well, the thing is, well, the thing is, as far as this country is concerned, a lot of you know, people, let's say the so called, this, if you are talking about soldiers right now, if you check very well, all these soldiers that are perpetrating this evil, maybe I should say their leader or the ones they are sending to, you know, be fighting for Fulani s -men. If you take a very good look at it, you will discover that this set of people are Fulanese. They are Fulani soldiers. And that is just what is happening right now. That is why I, I will say if they are deploying any... Any military man ends fought to any state, it, that kind of soldiers should be from the same tribe in that state. I, I think you quite understand what I mean. If you are sending a, a soldier to somewhere like a Yoruba land, you should not mix them with any Hausa man. You should not mix them with any Hebrew man. Let it just be, let them be just Yoruba soldiers so that they will be able to fight for their land. Because I can't see a, a situation whereby a, a Yoruba soldier will now be fighting his own people. That is what is wrong right now. I, I have not seen that situation whereby a Yoruba soldier will now be fighting Yoruba people in, in his own land, his own father's land, will now be fighting them. It, it can't happen. You understand what I mean right now? Because now, okay, you can imagine the commissioner of police that is being sent to all your states. Where would an Igbo person be a commissioner of police in all your state? That is that is what should be corrected. Uh, corrected. The narrative needs to be corrected. 
my people because I don't understand what is going on. Soldiers will now escort Fulani, ex men, to, to someone's village and be forcing them to accept them, knowing fully well that these people meant arm for the society. You will send these people to people's farm to destroy their plants, destroy you no know, millions of naira worth of plants, and yet you want these people to keep quiet. Talking about the future of these people, this is their future. Then why are you ruining their future? If they are unable to you no know, grow their plants, if they are unable to take care of their plants, if they are able to work, how would they be able to take care of their children? And they said that children are the leaders of tomorrow. If these children are not well taken care of, how do you want their tomorrow to look like? I think this needs to be taken into consideration because it's not getting it. It has gotten out of hand. It's not funny at all. It's not funny again. They will keep denying this, and yet it's happening. Where, where, where have, where are they? Have they you no? Know, may have they made these people to? To, to be suffering. Why have they made the uh, society to be uh, ungoverned for these people? And yet, you are talking about one Nigeria. No wonder everybody is saying that separate Nigeria. Go your own way. Let's be on our own. So that you will remain in your own land. You, they have stressed past enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Before it's too late, everybody needs to speak out. Enough is enough. And that is it on this one, my people. Meanwhile, let me have your take on this one. And remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.